Hey, Lloyd Love here, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about my new pedal train pedal board. Uh, first of all, before I even decided on which one to get, what I did was I uh, cut out a piece of paper and outlined the different sizes of pedal boards that they had. And I got all my effects together and just laid them out on the paper uh, to see which size uh, would be the best for me. So I wanted to show you the different things that I did. Yeah, so as you can see here, I got this piece of wrapping paper and I uh, measured out the different sizes of pedal boards that, that uh, Pedal Train carries. So you can see I've got the 24 inch mark here the uh, 32 inch mark here and they have the uh, 14 and a half inch width as well as the 16 inch width and so <clears throat> I just kind of laid out my effects on this piece of paper okay well so here are all my effects some I use often and there are some that I rarely use but uh, the thought was, well, as long as I, I'm getting a pedal board, I uh, might as well <clears throat> get them all on there. And that way, uh, whenever I want to use it, it's handy. It's right there. So the idea was, okay, how can I put all of these onto the paper that I cut out and see uh, if it'll fit? Uh, in the 24 inch size or the 32 inch size uh, and so I'm just gonna lay them out well so basically all of my effects did in fact fit on the 24 inch size measured uh, paper that I've got so I think I could probably go with the uh, new Pedal Train Novo 24. Okay, so I uh, went down to the local music store and they did in fact have the Pedal Train Novo 24. Just one left, so uh, I was lucky to get that last one. And so I'm about to open it now. <coughs> Here's the uh, tag, Pedal Train. All right, I'll take a look. Nice sturdy bag. Voila, okay. <clears throat> so inside we have this. Wrapped in bubble wrap. All right. As you can see, it's uh, very solid, well made, looks like, and <clears throat> comes with a bag of uh, some tie wraps and some Velcro. Alright, so that looks like there's plenty there for on my effects and for the rack itself and it also comes with a, um, a shoulder strap I guess you can carry the uh, entire bag on, on your shoulders makes it kind of handy I guess when you're carrying your equipment All right. So oh, there's, there it is. All right, so uh, next I'm going to uh, measure out some of this Velcro and uh, stick it on to the actual pedal board. There's my dog Layla. Hey, Layla, I'm making a film. Okay. So first thing you want to do is uh, cut this in a straight line, straight across. 
All right, and I hope there's enough for all five of these bars going across. Um, I think what I'll do is just go all the way from end to end. I know that some people like to do the um, uh, Velcro where it actually stops uh, short of going all the way to the uh, bar at the end. But um, that means you can't utilize that space there if you really need to. And uh, for me, I think I'd rather have that option to use uh, all the space that's available. So I'm going to cut this here. Okay, so let's just try that. Let's stick it on and see what happens. Start from this side. And just keep going across. Okay, try to get it as straight as you can, of course. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so uh, as you can see, I've got the whole thing done and uh, had even a little bit left over. So um, I guess if you really wanted to, you could cut the small pieces and even fill in these spaces, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so you want to just make sure that it's stuck really good. Just give the whole thing a good push and there it is now uh, it's time to get the effects ready all right so um, this is how I've decided I'm gonna lay out my board um, I'm gonna have my Wawa off to the side and not really on the board itself uh, that way um, I can um, alternate uh, my Wawa from uh, the box to the crybaby if I want and and also one thing that um, uh, is um, different from the other pedals is that the uh, the Wawa's that I have only run on batteries so I want to be able to get to the uh, the battery compartment on the bottom, um, and uh, just just makes a little more sense, I think, uh, to um, just have that off to the side. But anyway, um, so the way I'm gonna chain it is uh, I'm gonna go into my tuner first, and then from my tuner, I'm gonna go into my uh, to um, uh, distortion uh, boxes. Uh, I've got the Sansamp and I've got my Tube Screamer and uh, from there it's gonna go to my ring modulator um, and uh, also I got my Rotovibe so it's gonna go from here well so it's gonna go here 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 and then to here my roto vibe. I got my whammy pedal. From there, it's going to go to the chorus, and then from the chorus, it's going to go into my delay. And I've got this acoustic simulator. Um, don't use it that often, but um, occasionally it's kind of nice to have. And then from there, I go into my compressor, and then out to the amp. I know a lot of people think that the compressor should come somewhere in the middle or whatever but um, I don't know I, I found that um, for me I get the best sound 
with the compressor at the very end just before it goes into the amp. So anyway, you know, you can um, uh, try different uh, configurations, but uh, this is the one I, I like, and so uh, this is the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so the, uh, the next thing you really need to do is to uh, put the other side of the Velcro tape on the backs of your effects. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, here's an example of uh, a boss pedal. And uh, kind of the cool thing about the boss pedals is that you can kind of uh, flip the, uh, the back side around and uh, get the flat side here, which uh, is good for sticking the Velcro onto. Uh, let me just show you. So I, I've already taken the screws off of this pedal. And <clears throat> as you can see, um, this side, it's got the, uh, the rubber feet on it. Um, but instead, you can just flip it around like so. And then um, just put the screws back in, uh, which I've already done here. And so that way you get a nice flat surface to stick this onto. Uh, so <clears throat> let me just show you how I do mine. So I'm gonna, some people like to go across this way and have two of them going across. I just like to just stick them on <clears throat> lengthwise. And that way um, you got the whole surface covered and, and this is, uh, not that heavy of a uh, an effect, so uh, this should hold sufficiently. Let me cut this to the right length. Just measure to about here. And obviously, you want to try to cut straight across. like that and you can stick it on there nice and tight there you go and I'm just gonna do the other pedals the same way well some of the pedals uh, I don't know if, if the uh, <coughs> the back uh, can be flipped over or not um, so some of them I may have to just remove the feet um, like this one probably, but I'll take it apart and see. All right, so um, I sort of got carried away and uh, didn't uh, video um, some of the steps that I took in between, but now here it is, the finished product. I've got uh, everything Velcroed on there, um, and all the cables are in place. Let me see if I can um, flip this thing around and show you how I did this side. Um, I put my DC brick power source on there. Uh, I just used Velcro to um, attach that on there as well. And um, I just um, uh, tie wrapped the, the uh, cables so that they don't come loose. So, um, yeah, okay, well, there it is, the Novo 24, and um, uh, it all fits in the case and everything, so I'm really happy with it. All right, uh, just one more thing, I uh, just wanted to show you how it looks like uh, in the case, and there's a little bit of space on the side here, and so I'm just going to keep my Wawa pedal in there. Uh, I got it in there earlier. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have done it this way. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right, so there it is. And so, let me close the case. It'll zip up nicely. It's kind of hard to do while I'm holding the camera, but yeah, there it is. Okay.